Hey, first graders, um, I want to take a second to show you something new that we're going to do. I know that we've been throwing a lot of new technology at you guys and your parents, and you have really risen to the occasion, and I'm so proud of you guys. Um, we are going to be doing something a little bit different uh, in the upcoming weeks, and when I say weeks, we're going to work on this for a few weeks. So I don't want anybody to stress that this is something that we're working on um, for only this week. First thing you're going to do, I'm looking at my creative literacy or my related arts document. You're going to watch this. Then there's going to be another link to watch um, another short video. These videos are about five minutes long, so we're not talking super long videos. I am going to be introducing you to some fun summer reading. Um, I'm not going to be reading the whole story. I'm just going to be giving you like little snippets or tastes of books that you might want to look into reading over the summer. Our activity for this week is going to be creative writing. When you come to the lesson plan, you're going to see this link, Storybird. I've created one account for everybody. So we're all going to share the same Storybird account. That means that we have to be careful. We have to be respectful. Um, we're going to see how this works. I'm trying it out. We'll see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, but again, this is kind of a experiment. I'm going to click off of here so you can't see my face anymore, but you'll see the screen. And I'm going to walk you through how to use Storybird for this week. All right, so you're going to click. So you see my cursor. You're going to click on the link. It's going to take you to this website. I am signed in because I was signed in, but let's sign out so I can show you how to sign in. So when you come to it, it's going to have this screen. Our username is MPS first grade and the password is one, two, three, hello. I'll write all that in the document for you. So you're gonna click in, you're going to go to writing. Okay, so we're gonna come up here. You're gonna click on writing. Once you've clicked on writing, start writing today. Okay, there are a couple of options up here for, there's a couple of options up here for writing. We're gonna start with picture book. I will show you some other options after we're done. There are going to be different categories of pictures. Some of them are a little weird, but all of them definitely inspire um, kind of a, a writing. So I like to choose something with animals. So maybe let's go to these. These look really cute. We'll write a little jungle story. Um, so now we have all of our pictures on the side here. We have a template for our picture book. I'm going to put a title in, um, jungle day. So I don't know, just something. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my name. Because if you look, all of your books are going to be written by MPS first graders. So if you don't put your name up here, I won't know whose book it is. Okay, then let's erase this. Whoop and whoop then you come down here and you go to the next page okay now you can put in your next picture so maybe i want this little guy so you're going to click and drag so i'm going to click him i'm going to drag him now where you place him on the page is going to show where he's going to be so for when i'm on this half of the page i'll put him there and now I can start writing my story. Uh, this little tiger looks 
sad. So maybe I'll write one day in the vast jungle, a little tiger cub lost his family. Okay. Good. Maybe I want to write a little more. Maybe I want to write a little less. And then maybe I want to go. <clears throat> Whoops. This is not to the next page. So I'm going to choose another picture. Now, you might have to move some of these around to like see what's underneath. Sometimes they don't always match. You want to find more pictures with our tiger in it. Um, and, you know, you might get into writing the story and you might be like, you know what? Nah, I'm not feeling as inspired as I thought I was. So you can exit. Um, it's going to save it. Mm -mm save to draft or you could just delete story sure I wasn't really that fond of that story anyway okay so then you're gonna go back in writing let me show you some other ways you can write the story so this is long form if you're writing a long form story let's choose mm -mm -mm -mm. let's see what this is Oh, just shapes and things. So I'm writing a long story. I've got chapter one. And then I'm sure when you're done with chapter one, you can move on to chapter two. I don't recommend long form story. I would say if you want to write something like a long form story, I would go to flash fiction. So flash fiction, let's get these monkeys. You can just add a title and get writing. No chapters, nothing like that. If you go back, you can do comics. I have a feeling some of you are going to be really interested in doing a comic. So you look, choose. Maybe this one. This is how I feel today. And you can type right in here. Oh, no. And then um, it's my apostrophe doesn't work. Raining. And then rain makes me sleepy. And then you can add in, you know, dreaming of apparently watermelon and maybe lemonade and fruit kebabs. So that could be your, do you discard? Uh, yes. Okay. So that is what you're going to do. Now let's do one and save it so that you can see what it looks like when it's saved and you can see how to go back into it. So let's do, this looks interesting. What are these guys? Ooh, these look fun. Let's put that in there. Best friends. Okay, I'm just gonna label this example. And it's by Miss Mastro. I'm going to add another page so that we can save it. Uh, do, 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 do. Popcorn time. Now, I want you to write like actual sentences and like once upon a time kind of stuff. These are creative writing pieces once upon a time all right let's save and then i want to show you how to come back to it so we're going to exit and save we're going to save it to draft so i could come back to it later 
and then we will whoops you could privately save it too all right now when we go to dashboard your story should be down here it'll say your title and your name then if you want to continue writing you can just click on it okay so we'll have tons of stories in here please make sure you're only clicking on your story and only editing your stories if you want to collaborate with somebody that is up to you please make sure that they know that you're collaborating with them i don't want you just going into um you know for example ayusha's story and just starting to write on his pages without his permission we are sharing an account so we need to be um, respectful of each of each other's work second thing actually i think that is just about it i feel like I'm going to have access to this account, so I will go in and help and edit. I will be editing your stories um, without your permission uh, because I can do that. I'm the teacher. And I think we're good. So other than that, we're going to give this a try. I'm really not sure how it's going to work with everybody using the same account at the same time. So there may be glitches here and there. Please take a deep breath. If the site isn't working, go do something else and come back to it. Do not stress about your creative literacy assignments, especially an assignment like this. All right, boys and girls, I want to wish you, let's say goodbye. I want to wish you luck with this assignment. Remember, you can email me at any time for help and I can make myself available um, even via like live Google Meet to walk you through some stuff. Uh, let's see how this goes. I'm excited to see some of your stories. You've been doing great with the Google Slides. So let's, uh, let's step up our game a little bit and see what happens. Okay, enjoy, have fun, and uh, I hope I see you guys soon. I miss you. Bye.